this is how it looks after you dig your circle. See, I still got the white marks, the white spray paint going out and I just dug right on the inside. Um, probably can go back, clean it up a little bit. You see little chunks right here. So, uh, just take those out right there. You notice over here, you still see a little bit of grass on the edge. And that's because this side, this side was higher than this side. So this is the low side. So on this side, I probably, I'm probably gonna have to add dirt, you know, once I get around here, smooth everything out, try to level it. Um, that's why I didn't really touch too much of this side. You see, it's just that much left, probably like not even the fifth of the pool. Um, but all that I dig in, when I started my, the strategy was to go deep over there and shallow over here. As you see, I didn't really touch it over here. Yeah, the strategy was to go deep over here and not really touch it over here. So like I could have that smooth, gradual, you know, flat surface that I'm looking for. But I guess we'll see once I start leveling this out and I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to add over here. So I'm not too, too worried about um, digging over here, but I'll probably, I don't know. I'll probably just clear out the top. And yeah, the strategy was to like go uh, deep over there and shallow over here. But once you, I'm not experienced with a shovel. So I just went in, I tried to stay as shallow as I could, but whatever came up, came up. Um, my theory was if I could take dirt out, I can always put dirt back in. So that's, that, that's, that's what that was. All right, so I got my circle dug out and see, I, I went ahead and cleared that grass over there. Um, now I got my rake here. You can get a rake like this at Lowe's Home Depot for probably like 10, no more than $15. Um, these were the cheapest ones. You can probably find one for probably $7, $8. Then I also got a piece of wood. This is an eight foot piece of wood. And what I'm gonna use this for, I'm gonna use this to make sure it's level. Right now I'm about to just flatten it out with my rake, just flatten this out a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and see if it's level. So yeah, watch the next steps. All right, so I just flattened everything out with the rake, measured again uh, with the dog string and the dog stake. Um, I found out that I had to dig a little bit more water. <clears throat> so I'm actually supposed to be right here on the white line. Um, so I'm right there on the white line all the way around. You can still see some parts of the white line. I don't know if I'm gonna run into problems with that, but um, I'll just have to dig a little bit more. Uh, no biggie. But I just raked over everything. Everything's a little bit smoother than it was. It's gonna get a whole lot smoother than that. Cause next I'm about to level it with a leveler. So I take my leveler onto my piece of board. This is an eight foot. Uh, I guess it's not a two by four. I guess it's a one by one by eight. Yeah, so I got that on there. Next, I'm about to drill a hole into either end, either one or the other. And that's gonna give me my seven foot radius because the pool is 14 feet. So I'm gonna, this, is, this board is eight feet. So I'm gonna come one foot in, drill a hole. And this hole is gonna be in the center where that dog stake is. And I'm just gonna go around and make sure it's level. We can make it all the way around. Um, I'm gonna have to either add dirt or take dirt away. So yeah, that's the next step. I see a leveling is kind of more difficult. You see, I got my music box, my little Alexa dot out there. Um, so yeah, I started at the south end at the lowest end. Um, and now I'm working my way on up to the top. I've already done, I've already done like this quarter. Um, well, working on half, it'll be half when I get up here to the top of here. So yesterday I was moving around with the pencil. I decided to add a weight today on top of the pencil. Um, so that's what that black thing is. It's a, I see the 10 or 20 pound weight. Um, and I have that. Remember I drilled the, pen, the hole into the two by four or the one by eight and stuck the pencil through it. Now I added a weight and I also added counterweights. Um, those brick pavers that we got to go underneath the poles. I have one sitting on each side of the one by eight to keep it level. Um, you know, equal weight distribution. Um, even though I guess that 20 pound weight adds a little bit more weight on that end, it's all good. Just make sure that the bubble stays in the middle of the leveler as I go around, moving dirt, adding dirt. Um, I noticed that I had to I had to shovel more dirt out because when I when we measured we measured exactly 14, so that white circle is exactly 14. So I when I shoveled I shoveled 
basically inside the white line so i had to reshovel again it wasn't that much it wasn't too difficult since it's the end um see so yeah, i've been shoveling the outside of the white circle the shape plans to put white rocks or little stones or whatever i don't know she plans to put something around the pool um so yeah i, I went a little bit more wider than the white circle I still, I still got a little more white around that side of the circle um so i have a few more a little more shoveling to do but yeah leveling is going as good as it can get and so it's going to take a long thing it'll probably take me all day today to make sure everything is leveled i'll probably finish the leveling today um, not, we'll probably move, end up moving the pool either today or sometime tomorrow maybe today so we can get started on filling it up but yeah product i know it might not look pretty and all that because i no, I went around about 10 times i know it doesn't look all pretty but i promise you it's level or at least i think it's level i swear i went around with the leveler 10 times 10 times and it was level um each time adding dirt taking away dirt and you add and take away all 10 times so you add and take away all 10 times and yeah i just figured you know after i was after i was finished um i figured after i was finished and i went around the level was inside the bubble i mean the bubble was inside the lines um each time i went around and yeah i just i feel like it's level enough um you can see how how far i had to take it down on that side because that side was the high end or where the water was low on that end because it's set up higher and all the water was coming down here so i barely had to touch this side um, and you can see that looks like about the water line and how it was in the pool right there It was low on this side and the water was all the way up to the top on this side. So it's, I mean, it seems like it's gonna work So next we're about to get a few more stones because we're gonna set the poles on the stones inside I'm not sure if I dug a big enough circle to incorporate the stones um, But yeah, we'll see that's the next step All right, so it's time to move the pool I uh, came out here, measured one more time, uh, took the the leveler off of the twelve of the off of the one by eight, and I measured around different random spots just to make sure every where I placed it, it was level. So it says it's level, and it's level. Um, now there's a few minor like dips, like not 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 the major, just like a little hole underneath the leveler or something like you know the leveler. Um, but yeah, now we're about to move the pool from there to here. 